a nuisance now? Is yeah. it a new nuisance or is this a nuisance that has occurred since you have lived there? Yes, it is. You, you, you don't live there? No, sir. I'm representing the state. So since Mr. Copeland has lived there, it's been ongoing? Since he's owned the property right next door, he does have a chance that he's living there. Uh, it's his family. And it seems from looking at the history of use of the property, this has been going on since 1960, the 60s, 1967, according to Mr. Copeland, the owner of the subject of crime. That's what he said. And then was, um, was your father not aware of that business when he acquired the property? I'm not sure. There was no business going on, well, I guess, when acquired the property. Going, right? Well, that's what I'm talking to. Mm -hmm. 
feel that the bumper and That's what him. has been going on. They okay. stopped him a few months ago. From working late. Because he's supposed to be, well, you've got to zone it for commercial, you've got to do all these things. And I was raised in the South, it's better to do things and then say, oh, well, I'm sorry, later, as opposed to starting out in the proper manner. That's where we are now. That's where the we're talking from. about a buffer areas here. So do you feel that the buffer should be held to the highest standard that's outlined in the, uh, the land development regulations? No, I would like to say that he not be granted a variance at all because of condition number four. But but that would be the result I mean, of not being granted a variance. He doesn't have right. the full buffer. Right. But it also says in the actions of the property owner, and I heard Mr. John Copeland say financially, he, need, he couldn't put it up for another six months or a year financially. Well, you know, that, it, the four addresses, it should not be in the action of, and that's his financial, but that, that's an action part of him. So I'm saying I, I don't, I'm in opposition completely to um, to not having a, bur a buffer right now. If it's got to have one, I mean, if he's, it's going to be the zone commercial, he needs to have the highest max maximum as possible. Am I clear now? Mm -hmm. Sorry. Anything else? Thank you. Is there any other opposition? No. Uh, other than the stuff, uh, the, the paperwork that you submitted to us, is there anything else that you're offering? No, sir. That was it. Okay. So there was, there was, we had a petition in our packet that had 29 signatures on it in favor, and then we need to add this to the record today for the, uh, the opposition to come up. So. I'm not sure. What, what was the petition in favor of? Was it in favor of his rezoning, or was it in favor of his reduced buffer variance. It was primarily in favor of the rezoning rather than the buffer. Good point. Good point. So we're talking about a buffer variance. <coughs> and so, Carmela, okay. certainly your staff, your office has uh, recommended that the variance be granted. Yes. Based on four conditions. Based on the four conditions. Uh, but we're not sure if it's going to be resolved at this point. Right, and and number four is contingent upon the success of his his rezoning next week. What's the thought, Mr. Bradford, on, on not having the on waiving the requirements on the south, north, southwest, and east of the property? Um, because they are the natural vegetative buffer already in place, so the community felt just you know, undisturbed. Leave it as it is. Don't cut it down, just leave it as it is. Okay, and, and while I understand what we're here for, and I understand our role in the essence of the complaints, um, is the zoning of the commercial, commercial property. That's what I'm thinking. I think our, any motion 
is, is premature. You know, and from what I'm hearing from the individuals who are objecting to the variance, the issue is zoning. Mm -hmm. So is the applicant operating um, at a deficit if we wait and table this until such time as at least we have the information about whether or not zoning has been approved? From my understanding, he's at, actually seeking a, a leasing for the property. Um, if I'm, I stand to be corrected, there's no one that's leasing the property now, but he is in, he's advertising for someone to, to come and lease the property. But, but the zoning uh, meeting takes place, what, four weeks from now? No, next, 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 next Tuesday. Tuesday. Next Tuesday. I, I think we ought to table this. Okay. Is, is that a motion? Oh, yeah, okay. It's a motion to be tabled this matter Same until the next uh, scheduled um, meeting. Carmela, do you see any protocol for the vote? Okay. All right. And I'll agree with uh, Mr. Hall. Uh, Mayor, Chairman, yeah. in July, um, we may move that to the July 10th. July 10th, instead of the first, the first two in July. And I'll give you, you have to re-advertise mm -hmm. All right, well, maybe I have a motion and I have a second to table this until our next regularly scheduled meeting. So, show of hands, all in favor? No opposition, and that's uh, not exactly the outcome I think that we were anticipating, but nonetheless, I think it's the right thing to do too. Thank you. Appreciate you. Yeah, we're going to sign here with the data. They know we're here. Hey, Mark. 